What is up fam and happy Wednesday. You guys can't see me because all that light. I am getting ready to do my weekly wash routine, which I'm a couple of days late because I've been busy y'all. I've been busy, but I'm doing my wash routine today. Getting it out the way. I'm sitting right now with my aloe vera treatment in. I'm getting ready to wash it out because it has been in for an hour just because I've been doing other stuff around the house. I had to get y'all a video uploaded. So I had to edit that. Now I'm in the kitchen getting ready to marinate some pork chops for Cheek Cheeks because he's supposed to be coming over later on tonight when he gets off to caulk my wall because I got some holes here and there and everywhere. So he's going to do that for me so I can get ready to paint tomorrow. So I thought I'd feed him because that wouldn't be right if he came over here at midnight after he done worked all day and didn't get anything to eat. So I'm going to go ahead and get these pork chops started and get back to doing some work around this house. And this is just a marinade that's just gonna sit on these pork chops for a few hours and then I'm just gonna lightly fry them in a little bit of olive oil. No flour or anything like that. He loves these pork chops y'all. He can eat these all the time. And it's just like a little rub. That's what you call it, a rub. Don't rub some of this on there, rub some of that. Flip them over. Alrighty, you guys so I just looked behind me and realized that I got dishes I gotta wash real quick too so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my dishes I'm gonna catch up with y'all after I'll wash my hair and figure out what I'm gonna do because it's gonna be another ponytail I started to break down and put some crochet in my hair because I'm just tired of combing my hair I really am but I'm trying to stick it out as long as I can but if y'all see me with some crochets don't be saying nothing to me in my comment sections I'm gonna be all right well, you guys, I just got off the phone with Cheek Cheeks, and I don't think that he is going to be coming over here tonight because Akron has a 7 o'clock curfew. He gets off at midnight, and the thing that makes me so afraid for him right now is because, number one, Cleveland done been up there tearing a place up, okay? They done had to shut down exits going towards downtown Cleveland. And Cheek Cheeks works in Cleveland, in the heart of Cleveland. He doesn't get off until midnight. I hate to call his car thuggish, but that Mustang, it is souped up. It's got dark tinted windows. And you know a black person is driving it. I'm just keeping it 100. I can guarantee you he gonna get pulled over tonight. And I just pray for God that don't nothing happen to my man because he's six foot four, almost 300 pounds. He can be very intimidated and got a lot of bass in his voice. And I just don't want anything to happen to him. I don't. This bothers me. And it bothers me more because it's like you just don't know having a black man, a black son, 
a black father, black brother, you don't know what stuff going on, especially right now. You don't know if they gonna come home. And I just, I hate worrying about him, I do. And I told, I've been telling him for the last couple of days, call me when you get home. Like, I don't care how late it is. I don't care if I'm asleep. So this has been our routine for the last couple of days. And he did just confirm with me that we do have a seven o'clock curfew because somebody has said it on Facebook that we have a seven o'clock curfew. And I'm like, is this true? First thing I started thinking was my man don't get off until 12 o'clock at night. I just, oh my gosh. Oh Lord Jesus. I'm going, oh. I'm about to have to get on my knees because I can't do this and I'm going to have to pray. Mm -mm. Well, let me get off here, you guys. I, um, I just did the second part of my hair treatment and I got to let it sit for five minutes. Oh, I just wanted to, oh, Jesus, please help us. That's all I can say. Alrighty, you guys. So, this is my mattress up against the wall. I had to move it so I could start patching this wall since Cheek Cheeks couldn't make it over. I d attempted to do this myself. And it's almost dry. It has to dry completely white. So what I'm going to do is throw a ponytail up in my hair real quick. There we go. Yeah, that's my little patches. Patching up all my little holes. So this is the last look of this room being tanned. It's all taped up and ready to go, y'all. Alrighty. Stay tuned. I'm about to knock this paint job out. What is up you guys and happy Friday. So you guys, yesterday was supposed to be the paint day, but I don't know what was wrong with me, but I was so extremely tired that after I had picked my bed up and had moved my box spring to the other room and laid my mattress up against the wall, I went and laid down on the couch for like two hours and I said, I'm just gonna take a nap, see if I can get rejuvenated and get back in there and start painting. Well, Two hours went by, I got up and I think I was feeling more tired than I was. So I laid down again for about a half an hour. I got up and said, you know what, forget it. Let me just go and put my box springs back in the bedroom and get in the bed, get a full eight hours of sleep, knock this paint job out. So that's what I'm getting ready to do this morning after I grab myself a bite to eat. Then I'm gonna get started and paint this room and be done with it. <laughs>
Alrighty, you guys, so I gotta take a quick trip to Lowe's. I finished painting all of the room, but it seemed like because I have painted over that wall three different times, this will be like the third coat of paint. The very first coat of paint that we had put on the house when we first moved in, it was this chocolate dookie brown. And when I tell you, it just looked like dookie stains all over the wall. I'm not kidding y'all, it was so awful. I had to go to the store the next day to get new paint because I, I just couldn't do it. And so maybe this is paint number four because I remember it was that chocolate color and then I painted it like this cream color. And then from the cream color, I painted it that khaki color and now this color that I have now. So it has a lot of paint jobs on it, but every time I get the paint, I get the paint with the primer in it because I'm too lazy to prime the walls first and then paint. But the walls look beautiful. Like I said, in just some areas, it just looks like it just needs like a second coat of paint there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and touch it up with that second coat of paint so it could just give it that vibrant look. Oh my gosh, y'all, I love it though. I was just sitting up there. I think I had more dance breaks than anything. I'm just, dan I was just dancing all around. But it's done, it's only 11.30. I think I started at like 9.20 because I had a small delay because I lost the paintbrush. But I'm doing really, really good. And I also got to get outlet covers for the walls. Had gold and then the original ones from when we bought the house for two of the outlets. But I'm just going to change them all back to white. But, whoo, y'all, I'm sweating. Oh, I got myself a workout in today and I got paint all over me. I wiped some of it off. My face was just covered in paint, little speckles everywhere, but I tried to get most of that off because I don't want to be looking too crazy going up in lows. Although, from, from the looks of me, you can tell what I'm doing. Alrighty, you guys, so I am all done. I did two coats of paint. It looks so much better. I am going to end this video here so I can get this one up, and then on tomorrow's vlog, I'll show you guys the color of this room although I know you can see a little bit of it behind me now but I will see you guys on another boring quarantine video real soon love you guys